premium version of Twitter is coming, Acer's got a crazy new laptop, and Samsung's got some new Galaxy tablets. How's it going everybody? This is Dave LeClaire with MEO Tech Bytes and I am here to bring you on a journey through the latest from the world of technology news. It has been a busy day. There's been some big stuff going down. The tech world never sleeps and neither do I. So I'm going to bring you the first story for today right about now. So Twitter accidentally confirmed that it is working on a subscription service which will be called Twitter Blue thanks to a slight mistake that popped up in its iOS application. Security researcher Jane Manchun Wong discovered an in-app purchase in Twitter's iOS application that was $2.99 and it was called Twitter Blue. And basically what it is is a monthly subscription to a premium service of Twitter. They actually went in and subscribed to the in-app purchase, possibly making them the first person to try out Twitter Blue and they broke down exactly what you will find with the service. So right now, there's not a lot going on with Twitter Blue. You get color schemes for the app as well as different icons, though there has been leaks that says quite a bit more is coming to Twitter Blue. It's just not in there yet. Down the road, we expect there to be the ability to undo a tweet. So if you sent something hurtful or mean or just something that you didn't mean to say, you can set a timer up that will allow you to undo it before it is officially locked in and loaded in part of the Twitter sphere. There will also be collections that will allow you to organize your favorite tweets into folders so that way you can go back and look at them later in a nice organized fashion. We're also expecting Twitter Blue to integrate Scroll, which Twitter purchased recently, which gives you that ad-free reading experience but we'll have to wait and see exactly what comes to Twitter Blue as time goes on. As mentioned, this is kind of a mistake it looks like that Twitter made by putting it out there a little early. It doesn't have all the features in place, but this pretty much confirms that Twitter Blue, a premium version of Twitter is coming and who knows, maybe Twitter will actually turn a profit. And then our next story, Acer has announced a ridiculous new laptop that comes with a new feature it calls Spatial Labs 3D. That's right, 3D screens are not done. They are still around, they are not giving up yet and Acer is not ready to give up on the technology as its new laptop has it built right in. And much like the Nintendo 3DS back from a few years ago, this does not require any glasses to take in the 3D imagery. You simply have to position yourself in front of the screen, you look at it, and the images pop out to you. Now, unfortunately, Spatial Labs is set to debut on Acer's Concept D laptops, which are not meant for mass consumption. They are not coming out to the general public. They are, as the name implies, concepts designed to test out things and kind of give everybody a feel for what could be coming in the future. This is something that Acer is testing out. They sent a model to The Verge, priced at $2,900 without the 3D technology. That's just the price of the specs of the laptop that they sent. With the 3D, it was not clear exactly how much it would cost, but we would imagine it's going to be prohibitively expensive, at least for the time being. But hopefully this is something that comes to fruition in the future because it could be quite cool for anybody who needs to do any type of design work on their laptop and really wants to be able to get that tactile feel. Hopefully it works better than the 3DS did. Personally, I was not a fan of the 3DS's style of 3D. I thought that it looked kind of cheap. But hopefully Acer is able to do a better job with the amount that they will theoretically be charging for this laptop. They sure as heck better. So Samsung has announced two brand new tablets coming to its Galaxy Tab family. First, there's the Galaxy Tab S7 FE, and then there is the Galaxy Tab A7 Lite. The Galaxy Tab S7 FE is comically large, coming with a 12.4 inch screen, but it comes with a price that is quite a bit cheaper than you might expect for a 12.4 inch display. It comes with a 2560 by 1600 resolution, so it's a big screen and it is a high resolution screen, but it only costs 589 pounds, which is not too bad. Unfortunately, the company did not announce if there will be a US release for either of these tablets, so we'll have to wait and see. If you're looking for a tablet that won't break the bank at all, the Galaxy Tab have a7 Lite is the one for you as it is only 150 pounds. Now it comes with specs that make sense for a 150 pound tablet. Both tablets are set to go on pre-order June 2nd so you won't have to wait too long to lock one in and they will ship on June 18th so if you're looking for a budget friendly tablet these might be ones to consider as you know that Samsung always brings it. Their tablets and phones are always of top quality and we expect these to be no exception. And with that, this episode of MUO Tech Bytes is over. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will like this video. I hope you will subscribe. I hope you will turn on notifications so that you never miss another episode of MUO Tech Bytes, which drops every day, Monday through Friday. And I will see you in the next one.